Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Powered by coming on now, the podcast, where we talk facts over feelings. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont. And this just keeps on coming up. It just keeps on happening. Why is the what is the need to continue to try to put Juju Watkins on the same level that Caitlin Clark has already hit the mountaintop for? Why do you keep trying to do it? There's something called organic reaction, and then there's pushed and fake reaction. Everything involving Juju Watkins is becoming fake and a pushed reaction. But before I jump in, thank you so much for your continued support of this channel. Greatly appreciate you. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, hit that bell, and be sure to become a member because we're doing our live membership live tomorrow night, 9 p.m., every Tuesday night, 9 p.m., membership live. So jump on board. We look, to, look forward to seeing you there. We thank you so much in advance. Monica McNutt was on a podcast with Carmelo Anthony and a couple of other people. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know who the one guy is in the top left. It is Kid Marrow. That is the Marrow from Deuces and Marrow. Show that used to be on. That no longer is in existence. <clears throat> but he now does a show with Carmelo Anthony. Now, the top guy in the top left, I don't know who he is. But this podcast went into some stuff on Juju Watkins and this pushed narrative of how great Juju Watkins is, even to the point where they're comparing Juju Watkins to Carmelo Anthony. I want to play for you what they said, and then I'm going to give my feedback on this because this is just utterly ridiculous. This is the type of stuff that's nauseating, maddening, and it's complete bullshit. So let me play this for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's make it bigger. Women's basketball, to me, is in great shape. What's your biggest prediction of women's basketball in 2025? I got one name, Juju Watkins. Woo! Say no more. Yes. Right? Say like no more. Of course I can give you a prediction about how it continues to grow. But I do think what we saw in the last two years is you need names to pin it to that have had crossover appeal. Mm -hmm. Juju's that girl. USC is in the new Big Ten. She's literally going to be playing ball all around the country. And we can maybe have this conversation in April, but let's see what that looks like in terms of being able to stir up the frenzy that we had that frankly carried Caitlin in to this season. Caitlin had a fantastic year, Incredible. rookie of the year, exceeded expectations. I think Juju has the potential to do the same thing when she gets to the pros, but if we could get that energy going from the college basketball ranks into the W season, I think it's only up. I feel like anybody who's watched Juju Watkins who, like... Man, she's so cold. She's Maya Moore, like... Very Maya moore as Hooper, super, bro. They have mid-game packages. It's just elite. Easy. Crazy. Her footwork is elite. I've seen a lot of memes online. And I have no idea Caitlin guys. and Angel no Reese were Magic and Bird, and then Juju's gonna be Jordan. Jo right? Yo. You know yeah, 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 because she's a, she got like a that. different type of game. Get the fuck out of here. She man. has a killer oh, game. God. Like It is no... You're in Magic front of me. I'm, I'm trying to eat. Yeah. yeah. Get out of my way. Caitlin had a different type of killer. You know what I'm Pick your apart. She mm -hmm. shoot your lights off from half court. Like she can pass. Juju is one on one. It's nothing she get can't downhill, do. Yes. Get to her package. God, get a please. bucket. You getting cooked? She's a bucket getter. Cold. Right. It's funny because we told that line, particularly in the conversations around black women, about Nah, don't be humble. Incredibly humble, but as soon as the lights are on, as soon as yeah, you yeah. step on the court, yeah. bump mm -hmm. all that. Like she mm -hmm. killer. To your point, she remind me a lot of you. Like yeah, a I, lot I, of the the mid range game, the smoothness, the ease in which she got buckets. She does have that. Yeah, Maya Moore is a thing, but just like move set wise, I'm like that's Carmelo Anthony right there. That's my as guy. Well as <laughs> can you imagine being can you imagine a man telling Carmelo Anthony to his face she reminds me of you I, I get it Carmelo you can't reply with what you really think because it's utterly preposterous that this man thinks that Juju Watkins a 6'2 guard small forward reminds him of you but let's continue. Listen here, folks. Listen here. This is ridiculous. <clears throat> I don't even know what they're talking about. 
I, I don't even know what they're talking about. I know what they're saying. They're discrediting Caitlin Clark, and they're saying that Juju Watkins is better. That's what they're saying. Notice how energetic Monica McNutt is to sideways take shots at Caitlin Clark. She even said she was better than any expectations. Whose expectations, Monica McNutt? Whose expectations did Caitlin Clark exceed? Because she didn't exceed mine. In fact, she did not reach the expectations that I had for her in scoring points, largely because her coach kind of shut her down in the first half of the season. Because had she, had Christy Sides let, you know, Caitlin Clark flourish in the first half and let her go, Caitlin probably would have averaged 25 a game. Instead, she averaged 19 and a half, 19.2, I think it was, whatever it was. But this Juju Watkins narrative that continues to flow, her game is nice, her game is this, her game is that. She She's dominant, blah, 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 blah. You can't stop her. Her game is different. She's, she's a you know, stone cold killer, whatever you want to call it. Man, have you been watching? Pressure bust pipes, folks. Pressure bust pipes. And I'm not saying the pipes have been bust yet, but Juju Watkins is not a fraction of the player that she was last year. Not a fraction. Not even remotely close right now. <clears throat> Juju Watkins last year, just to give you a refresher, averaged 27.1 points per game. 7.3 rebounds, 3.3 assists, 2.3 steals, 1.6 blocks, 4.1 turnovers. She shot 40.1% from the field. She thought she shot 31.9% from three, 85.2% from free throw line. That's what she did last year. Now, we're only five games in to this season. We're only five games in. But five games in, She's averaging five points less, 22 points per game. She's averaging almost over a rebound less per game, 6.2. She's averaging more assists. That means she's having the ball put in her hand more, 4.8. She's averaging 1.1 more steals per game. I haven't seen them play other than a game. I saw the first game versus Mississippi. I think it was Mississippi. Was it, was it, was it Mississippi State or Ole Miss? Ole Miss. That was the game I saw. I didn't see their game versus Notre Dame. I didn't know it was on. It was on Saturday. They lost. At home, in a building that was 30% empty. She's averaging 3.8 turnovers. She's taking less shots this year. She's still shooting 41.5% from the field. She's atrocious from three, 17.9% from three. So she's dropped 14% from three. She's gone up a percent and a half from the field. She's shooting 8% worse from free throw line, 77.1. Juju Watkins is a great player. I'm not going to take anything away from Juju Watkins. She's a great player. But your need, this need to push her up, it's unorganic. It's not organic. It is not organic. First of all, I don't want to hear anything about Carmelo Anthony talking about women's basketball. Carmelo Anthony don't give a damn about women's basketball. Stop it, dude. This The kid Mero doesn't care about women's basketball. Stop it, dude. The guy in the top left don't have any idea who he is. Yeah, she reminds you of Mello. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. It's ridiculous. And Monica McNutt, we know where Monica McNutt stands. She stands on the, on the side of anything that she can do to knock Caitlin Clark down, she will do. She's done it. It's historically proven. She's had nothing but negative things to say about Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark to the point where you, you sit here and you say, she's been better than we expected. Why? Why, why, do you, why was she better than you expected? Is it because that you projected her to be sorry? Is it is it because you didn't like her how good she was as a white girl amongst the black women in the league? Is it because you said you couldn't stand the attention she was getting? You hated every moment of her of her rookie year, and she made you eat crow. She broke your heart. She had a better record than Angel Reese. She had better numbers across the board. She was one of the best players, if not the best player, in the WNBA last season in her rookie year, and it pisses you off. So now you're talking about starting from the college ranks. Well, guess what? She goes to the wrong school. If Juju Watkins wants to be uh, wants to be pumped up in the college ranks, guess what? You got to go to a different school. It ain't going to happen at USC. Nobody in Los Angeles gives two flying fucks about USC women's basketball. Nobody. They had a chance on Sunday, I'm sorry, Saturday, 
to show the world that people care. They played Notre Dame, got their ass kicked at home, no less, and played in, a, in a, an arena with 3,000 plus empty seats. These are facts. In that game, Juju Watkins was terrible. 10 for 25, 40% from the field, 0 for 5 from 3, 5 turnovers. So you're not a point guard. 24 points, completely inefficient. This is who you're praising. So I keep saying this is not an easy, it's inorganic. If it's not done organically, you're pushing it down people's throats and people are not going to give a flying fuck about it. Juju Watkins might be a great player, but you're pushing it way too hard, way too fast. She's not a crossover athlete. So get out of here with that nonsense. They said that also to do crossover. She's not crossover. You know what crossover is? Crossover is getting people to watch you play who don't otherwise have any idea about anyone else in the league. Crossover is getting someone to watch and want to see you play stuff you don't actually play, i.e., Caitlin Clark drawing thousands to watch her play golf. No one's going to watch Juju Watkins play golf. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. She's not a superstar. She's a college women's basketball star. A superstar transcends everything. Juju Watkins does not transcend women's college basketball. Her game is so nice. She shoots 40% from the field, my peoples. Mellow, do you even know the numbers? She shoots 40%. She's shooting 17.9% from three. Is that what the number was again? 17.9? 17.9 from three. She's turning the ball over four times a game. She's not a point guard. Her numbers have gone down pretty much across the board. Any, any metric scoring has gone down. Remember, it was so easy to average 27 a game when someone else had all the attention. But now the attention's on you. The pressure's on you. And pressure busts pipes. It busts pipes or it makes diamonds. Is she going to become a diamond? We don't know. Five games in, it's busting a pipe. You can say what you want. You can think what you want. Her game might be nice. Her game is not transcending basketball. Her game is basic. Mid-range jump shot? Woo-hoo! We haven't seen that before in women's basketball? There's a reason Carmelo Anthony, for as great as he was, was never put up here. There's a reason. His game, overall, great, yet great player. Great player. He was like a black hole, so the ball went to him and never came back out. Largely considered a ball hog by most people in, in, in basketball. Couldn't win when it mattered. And I'm not saying it was his fault they couldn't win. But when it came down to it, they didn't win. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't evolve his game in terms of perimeter shooting until he was at the end of his career. And Carmelo, and Carmelo never played defense. So, I mean, if you want to compare their games, compare Juju to a 6'8 small forward in the NBA, you go ahead. I think the fact that he sat there and listened to this and, like, and did, like he actually accepted that, that's some bullshit. But you don't know nothing about women's basketball. I mean, it's clear as day. It's clear as day. The numbers, are, the numbers don't equate right now. She is not a level of a superstar. I don't care if she has a Nike deal. She has a Nike deal because of Caitlin Clark. That's why. The Nike deal exists because Caitlin Clark exists. If Caitlin Clark did not exist, nobody would care. We need to stop the noise. Stop the madness. Juju Watkins has a lot, to, a lot of expectations to live up to. And this season right now, they're 4-1. and one. She ain't living up to it. She got drop kicked on her own floor by Notre Dame. Her numbers are lower. Her shooting percentage still stinks. Her three-point shooting is terrible. And while she may be a great player, She's nowhere near the level of Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark will cut your heart out. Juju Watkins ain't doing that. I don't care if you think her mid-range game is solid and, and deadly and whatever you want to think about it. Big deal. Big deal. She can't shoot. Outside mid-range, she cannot shoot. 
She's 6'2". She plays closer to the rim, which in women's basketball is what? Normal. Nobody cares about that. Juju Watkins needed to come out this year and average 30. She's averaging 22. The odds of her averaging 30 when you start the first five games at 22 is going to be hard. It's going to be hard. So her, if her numbers go down, is she still the same player she was last year? I don't know. Doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to be the case. But more likely not, what's new? She has to downgrade Caitlin to pump up Juju. Fact of the matter is, there's nothing organic about Juju Watkins right now. You're at the wrong school. Organic means it starts from your college. People watching you, people blowing you up. It's not happening at SC right now. It didn't happen last year. It's not happening this year. All the promotion, all the publicity, it ain't changed the fact that people are not watching them play at USC. At US at USC specifically. Do I expect their game with US UCLA to, to fill up? Yeah, I do, obviously. Big rivalry. But if you look at their <clears throat> if you look at their schedule, if you look at their schedule, they got Oregon on the road. They got UConn on the road. That's a road game. That's that game on the 21st. They don't have a game. They have Ohio State at home. UCLA at home, and then UCLA on the road. There's two games that they're going to fill that building up probably. That's UCLA and maybe Ohio State. They didn't do it versus Notre Dame. What was the number of this in this building? 7,894. There are 3,000 short of a sellout. And how many of those tickets were given away for free? And in that game, they shot 35.8% from the field as a team. The reality is, she needs to prove it. She needs to show us. But get off the get off this soapbox here about how Caitlin's game was different. No, Caitlin was a savage stone stone cold killer, and Caitlin Clark was organic. She was real. I got no problem with Juju Watkins. I got a problem with these individuals like this, who are already starting up that rhetoric. And the rhetoric is because she's a black woman, we're going to pump her up to the sky. As if that hasn't done before, every other player has come through before. Maya Moore, how dare you disrespect Maya Moore? Maya Moore was a, was the Maya Moore is arguably the greatest women's basketball player of all time, arguably. And you're comparing a, a 19 year old to that. Stop it. That's all I got. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Ring that bell. Become a member. We will see you tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live podcast. Let's go. Facts over feelings. Come on now.